Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Mike here, and I want to give an update on my Tesla Model Y order. As you guys know, you guys have been following the channel, you've been following my videos about my order process with my Model Y, how it's just taken forever. And the last couple of weeks have been exciting because my dates were getting narrowed down. I had a date that was the middle of June and the end of June. My dates then narrowed a few other days. I really thought that I was going to get the, the car in June because... Well, the, the dates were coming soon. I even called into Tesla and asked them. They said, hey, we can't tell this. We can't give you 100%, but it looks like there's a car that's being built for you specifically. Can't give you the VIN yet. So I was super excited about that. And so June 19th was supposed to be coming around. That was the kind of the date where my, my was the first kind of the first date of the, the, the window that I had. June 19th to the 28th was my date, my, my last date window. So this morning, today's June 20th, and sometimes it takes a day or two into that window before I get an update. So I woke, wake up this morning, I open up the Tesla app, and I see my date, and I'm now pushed into July. I'm la now like July 13th to like aug middle of August. And it was I, I was super disappointed to see that, guys. So no VIN number, no date. Some people even commented in the comments and said that they received a text from Tesla and saying, respond back with the word June if you want to take delivery of your car in June or if you want it to be delayed. I never got that. I don't know if that's required. I don't know if everyone gets that or not if you get your car right away when you get that text, but I didn't get that text, but I did I did get a text. It was probably sometime towards the 1st of June about trading in a vehicle. So all of the signs were kind of lining up and pointing to me getting my car in June and lo and behold Nothing, guys. Super disappointed. Super bummed out about this. Uh, you know, it just feels like I just keep, keep they just keep kicking the can down the road. And now Tesla has increased the price another three thousand dollars on the Model Y. Luckily, my price is locked in. But I want to tell you guys kind of the top three reasons why Tesla does not want to does, does not want to sell me my car or deliver my car or even build my car. All right. Reason number one: I ordered in August of 2021. I use my referral code. Back in August, and I think they stopped this maybe in September or October of last year, but they had a referral program that if you used a referral code when ordering a new Tesla, you would get new you would get free supercharged miles, and then the person that referred you, they would get free supercharged miles. Well, I use my own referral code and order the car through my own referral system. So in my Tesla app right now, it shows that I have a order pending, which is my own, which is my own order. And if if and when my car ever gets delivered, I will get a thousand free supercharger miles because of that order. So that's number one reason why they don't want to. Number two is they just, the, the car's gone up, I would say now over $12,000 since I ordered it. I, like I said, I ordered in August of 2021. My out the door price was $67,000. That was with no full self driving. That's with tax, title, license, registration, destination, order fee, all these, all these other fees. I'll show you kind of a list of all the fees here. Um, and now that that same that same car is almost twelve thousand dollars more for those same options, which is which I think is ridiculous. So that's the reason two Tesla doesn't want to deliver deliver the, uh, the the car to me. And then secondly, I just the full the the full full self driving. I don't know what the deal is with this. The end of May. I, it was like May 29th, just about three weeks ago, I added full self-driving to my order thinking that would expedite my order because other people have tried it, other, it's worked for other people. And so I said, hey, why don't I see, why don't I see that? Tesla's making a big push the end of, for, for June to really get all the cars they can delivered. I thought maybe that they would uh, try to make a push for mine, and lo and behold, they did not. I'm getting pushed to July, even August. What's even more disappointing, guys, is seeing August in the date range because I ordered in August of 2021. It's been, it'll be almost a year. It'll probably, it'll actually probably be more than a year before I get the car. I'm not even hopeful I'll get it in July or even August. So the fact that the fact that I'm seeing August on the estimated delivery date, a uh, one year past that time and people were ordering in, in March and April and they're getting their cars. It just seems it just seems ridiculous that that my car's not being delivered. I don't know what the deal is with my car. It's got the seven seat, the twenty inch wheels, the tow hitch, black, black interior, black exterior. It, it you know I I have heard that the seven seats are getting delayed. The tow hitch maybe that's delaying it a little bit, but I don't think the, adding the full self driving has worked or even helped for me at all. So I'm I don't know if I can even recommend anyone to do that. If you're looking to get your car sooner, adding full self driving I don't know if it's even going to help. 
At this point, I'm not going to remove full self-driving until after I get the VIN number because I just think that would just cause more delays and more problems. So I'm, I am going to wait until the VIN number shows up, but I was hoping to get it by the end of the second quarter of 2022, and uh, it's not looking like it, guys. So super bummed out, and I don't know. I just, I'd love to know what's going on. I'd love to know why my car keeps just getting delayed and delayed and other people are getting theirs. I mean, if other people weren't getting their cars, I could see. But the fact that other people are getting their cars that ordered before me, there's no priority. I, I ordered in August of last year and I have no, I have no place in line. I'm just like, my car is just, my order is just sitting out there somewhere in, in Tesla's database and it's just sitting there. I don't know why they wouldn't just fulfill the order because it's not going to get, it's not going to get cheaper for them to fulfill my order. So cost of supplies, the battery with the supply chain constraints, it's just getting more expensive for them the longer they keep putting my car off. So they just need to bite the bullet and just build my car and deliver it to me. I don't know what the deal is. I wish I had better news, guys. I wish I really did. I wish I had a win. I wish I had a delivery day. I wish I was going to go pick that thing up because I got a, I, I got a ton of videos I want to do with that car, and I don't. So back to the drawing board. Back back to the waiting game that I've been waiting for for now almost a whole year. And I just wish I wouldn't get these teaser dates. It get, gets close. It gets pushed out. Close, pushed out. I mean, that's happened every, every, every month since since last December. I've gotten close, and then it pushed out every month. December, January, February, March, April, May, June. So, you know, guys, I'm kind of, I'm really bummed out. But luckily, I have a Tesla. I have a Tesla Model S P85D. It's a 2015. I really love that car. So I have that to drive in the meanwhile, and I really like that car. So I'm not getting rid of that car. I'm going to keep that car. And luckily, I have that car to be able to drive with gas prices, you know, at, as high as they've ever been. So I've got a I've got an electric car right now to be able to drive. So I'm really thankful for that. I'm glad I have that car. But as far as being able to to plan for things, I can't even plan. Like I can't even plan um, a trip with taking the car. I can't plan on what car I'm gonna have or trade in or sell. Like you just you just can't plan for it. So if you have a Tesla or if you have a Tesla on order and you keep getting these teaser dates, don't sell your current car. Don't give up your current lease. Don't trade anything. Just don't do anything with your current vehicle situation until you have your new Tesla in hand because there's a big question mark as to when that is. Tesla just has not been consistent. They have not been uh, predictable when it comes to giving giving a car, an, uh, an accurate estimated delivery date. Super frustrating. Anyways, guys, uh, leave down below in the comments. It's helpful for all of us to know your situation because you know we're all in the same boat waiting for these cars. It'd be super helpful if we could know what all what what the situation's going on so we know what to predict and what to go off because if you call into tesla customer service they just say yep yeah, your car is going to be delivered during that date the estimated delivery date the date range that's on the app they have no other information for you whatsoever at all zero help they're nice but they're not get they're, there's no information to really give they know they know you know more than they do it's crazy if I call in and say, "Hey, I've got my date pushed up. What's up? what's up?" Like, "Oh, your 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 car's gonna be delivered from you know July 13th to August 10th or, or August 9th or whatever whatever my date is." You know, that's what they'll say, and so just expect that. Um, I'm not I'm not expecting to get it then. Somehow Tesla does not want to deliver my car. I don't know why. I, I maybe they're mad that I'm making these videos. <laughs> maybe they don't want me making these videos, guys. I'm just telling you how it is. I'm just I'm not I'm not I'm not against Tesla. I'm really, I'm really for them. I love the cars. I just hate being jerked around like this, you know. If I was to back when I ordered in August of 2021, if I would have known it would have been August of 2022, I still would have put put the order in. You know, I still would have put the order in and still. Uh, but it's like, okay, if you're gonna wait, if you're gonna wait a year, then just give me that expectation up front. I don't see why. I don't see why my order is so repulsive to them that they can't build it. I don't know. I don't know why. Now. There is there is um, some word out that Tesla is going to start building the Performance Model Y at the Giga Texas, their Austin factory, in July. Maybe that'll free up Fremont to make some more long range, and maybe that's what I might be looking at. So, because it doesn't seem like the Texas factory is making long range or performance right now, they're making this new standard version, and it seems like that's a way to kind of leapfrog everyone. If you have an order in, you just take the standard version they offer you and you kind of leap you kind of leap in line in front of everyone else, you know. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching the video. Hit that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, stay tuned for more updates. I've got some um 
as I as I get as I get more information, as I get more updates, I'll definitely do more videos. I'm gonna do some more videos with my Tesla Model S as well. It's got some cool stuff coming for that as well. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Hit that thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks.